Welcome back to Minikun's Health Tutorials. In this second part of the Kaplan Myers survival analysis process in Excel, we're going to estimate or calculate the survival distribution function. In other words, the cumulated probability or survival rate of each individual. So as you can see, why do, we, do I say cumulated survival rate? In the sense that at the initial stage, that's why we have uh, the status of the, what do we call it? The, um, here we're gonna have in this particular column, the number of surviving patients from time zero. So at time zero, the survival rate of every, uh, what should I say, survival rate is 100% because all individuals will be, let's say, will be fit and then they will, the survival rate will be 100%. So in this case, the number of, uh, but the number of, the total number of people at risk to die would be the total number of subjects, which will be seven. But as time goes on, so here the total number of subjects is seven. That's at time zero. But let's say after three months of follow up, you know, we have a what do we call it? Somebody has we have a failure that somebody has died, unfortunately. So at that point, what happens then? total number of individuals at risk right now after somebody has died would be six so and then in that order so here we have a failure of one there's no sensor data so we put zero in the first place as you can see there's no uh, we had a total of seven people that's first of all to let you understand why you realize that initially the time of participation that we calculated here in as I we did in the previous video I demonstrated this in the previous video is the same time of participation that we carried forward here so but I've simply arranged them in ascending order why simply because we try to you know the individuals participated in the study at different time intervals but the follow-up is always when we are doing the follow-up we don't just follow up uh, what should i say it's a particular it's just a period it's always accumulated you understand so at a particular time when the individual dies irrespective of his time of uh, inclusion when he dies any person who dies at any particular point in time we record so at the end of the day, when we try to estimate the survival distribution function, we have to arrange them in ascending order. All the survival, what do we call it, the follow-up time or durations, or the, in other words, the participation time of every subject has to be arranged in ascending order. Then we also start with zero. Why? Simply because in estimating the fun, in, in estimating the survival distribution function or the cumulative survival rate we have to consider the fact that at time zero you know all the individuals were informed like none of them was sick so at that point you see that the failure rate here nobody died nobody was sensed nobody left the study or anything so as we move on what happens so at the end of the uh, three months of follow-up we had one person who died and then that is yes we had one person who died sorry here is actually seven simply because this was at time zero after at time zero there wasn't any death we didn't re register any death so there's still seven now at the end of the third period or the third month of follow-up what happens we had a, a one person die who died so what it means is that the total number of people living individuals at risk to die right now will be six 
yes and then as you can see at the end of the follow-up of after six months what happens registered another uh, death so since we registered another death we would put the uh, one and what happens we didn't have any sensitive data i think hope i'm right yes we had one person who died here at the end of the follow-up so this six that's correct now when we come here at the beginning or during the seventh months of follow-up what happens we had one person who died so the number of individuals living individual carried forward will be five however at the end of the follow-up of the, of the seven months period what happened nobody died so what it means is that since the philodrine died and we are not yet at the end of the, the steady period that's the 15th uh, month of follow-up then what it means is that since the fellow didn't die what it simply means is that this sensor data and the fellow was actually actually left the study so this sensor data so we will write here one we have one sensor data here and then the, it didn't die so we put zero here when we come to the ninth month nine months of follow up period and then what happens we registered so but first of all what would be the the number of surviving individuals carried forward since this person left the study we now have four individuals now when we come to at the beginning of the nine months period or after the nine months period of study what happens at the beginning we had four people at, at surviving people after the follow-up what happens one died so since one died then we register here one then since the data nobody left the study it was just him who died so when we get to the next part what happens we had one sense that so first of all since one person died they carried forward to betray and then at the end of the nine months period of follow up what happens nobody died but he left the study before the end so he's a sense that data so we will put here one then death will be zero at the 11th month of follow-up so since we had one sense data here will be two and after the 11th month of follow-up what happens nobody died but we had one sense data the person this individual during die but he left the study before the end so one here and then here will be zero now since we had another sensor data what happens at the 15th month of follow-up this will be two minus one so two minus one gives us one we have one survival surviving individuals so here is one sorry and then this surviving individual did he die no he was followed up till the end of the study but he didn't die so he's also sends the data then you put zero here right now we will calculate the surviving rate and after calculating the surviving rate we now estimate the survival distribution function which is simply the accumulated probability of survival rate so how do we get the survival rate we equal to the survival rate will be the number of subjects who were at risk at each at the initial time minus the number of people that died that's the failure of the field divided by the initial number of people sorry and then we hit enter that gives us one so this initial probability what it means is that the accumulated will still be one for the next subject what happens sorry for the interruption 
for the next subject what happens at the end of the follow-up the, of the three months period what happens as you can see he died so what I, what it means is that the survival rate will be seven minus one divided by seven that's the initial number of people that were at risk before the death of this particular individual after the three months period of follow-up so we close the bracket and divide it by seven and that gives us this 0 0.8 something and now here the cumulated survival rate will be equal to the probability that he did not die after the at the initial stage times the probability that he hasn't died after the three months period of follow up so this will be simply this is still the same but i have to times this so with the next individual what happens we will calculate his uh, what do we call it the survival rate or the survival probability i think he also died so it will be equal to open brackets six minus one divided by six that gives us 0 0.8 rate rate so now the probability the accumulated probability you know as time goes by first of all he didn't die here then after the end of the three months uh, the six months follow-up period what happens his probability of survival will be the probability that he did not die in the first uh, in the preceding uh, survival period or follow-up period which was three months and then now the six month period of follow-up so it will be equal to this times this and that gives us this now we move to the next person it's the same procedure as you can see he didn't die so since he didn't die what happens it means his uh, probability of survival is one but if you want we can still calculate it so we say equal to five minus zero divided by five that gives us one then equal to this times this now with the next person he died unfortunately so what happens probability of survival will be equal to four minus one divided by four that gives us this now the so cumulated survival rate of probability will be this times this so we be equal to this times this we hit enter that gives us this with the next person he did not die or yeah he did not die sends it so it's just like here it's one in actual sense but we can still calculate it three minus zero divided by three that gives us one equal to this times this enter that gives us this with the next person what happens did he die we had two people at risk he didn't die it all sends it so it's also one 
as usual to be equal to this times this the same thing it sends it to this this times this and right now we are done with the calculation of what do we call it our survival distribution function we've been able to do that now we will see how we can plot this on the kaplan myers survival curve and then to do that is very simple and uh, i would show you how to do it we would need an add in that is called survival analysis when we talk of excel add in simply is a tool that helps us carry out uh, different analysis we have different add ins for different analysis in excel some of them are pre-installed others you have to download them so to see your what do we call it to I think I've spoken so much. I, I will end the video here and then we'll do the survival analysis. In the, we'll draw the curve in the next video. So, as I said, the purpose of this second episode was to uh, calculate, first of all, the we already this carried forward, but we've been able to, car to calculate what we call the sensor data. In, in drawing the or plotting the kaplan Meyer survival curve, in Excel, we would need just this and then the survival, or what do you call it, the participation duration of time. So we will do that in the next video and put this in. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. In the next video, we're going to plot Kaplan Myers F, Kev, sorry, using the uh, survival analysis add in. Please subscribe.